What's up guys, this is Seth from TechShift. Today I want to give you a video on what programs I use on my Linux desktop. Len did a video on what programs he did on his Mac, so I thought I'd give it a shot and give you uh, another flavor on what I use on my Linux desktop. So first, let's start off by my most used program, which is Chromium. Um, you know, this is my standard web browser. I use it I use it for pretty much everything, paying bills online, working on TechShift, or just browsing the web. You know, I think it's a good browser. Uh, you may have heard of Google Chrome, which is an offset of Chromium, and um, this is the original. I also use Opera and Firefox on occasion, but um, mainly I use Opera if my internet gets a little wonky and if it slows down a lot. So next up, I use, for, for photo editing, I use Aftershot Pro, which is a raw image editor, kind of like Adobe Lightroom. Um, this is from Corel, which was formerly was, was formerly by Bibble Labs. So that's um, I, I I like this program a lot. I think it's very fast and fluid. So just to give you a quick little example, of what I can do. Let me just do a simple simple retouch right here. So as you can see, let me just maximize it real quick. As you can see, it runs really smooth. And this is a native native application. So look at this, we see this little dot, I guess, and I want to remove it. I just go here and I go to the heel clone layer. Just click on it and it's gone. So as you can see, uh, I use this program for uh, simple retouching before I export it into GIMP, which I, I do the uh, watermarks for, my, for our website photos and images. So this is um, my go-to program, and I love the workflow, I love the speed of it, and um, it has served as well. Moving on, naturally, we are going to go to GIMP. So this is GIMP. Um, many of you guys may have known GIMP had multiple windows, and the recent release of 2.8, I believe, they added single windows mode, which was oh, a long overdue welcome. And I personally love this single windows mode for GIMP, and I wish they had it earlier, but I heard that GIMP works actually very well in the multiple windows mode for multiple desktop, multiple monitors. Since I only have one monitor, I prefer the single windows mode. So this is, uh, as you guys may know, this is the poor man's version of Photoshop, and um, it works pretty well. You know, it's it's not not great. It's not extremely fast, but it does what it needs to do. You can do effects. What I like about GIMP is is batch processing. Um, I can add watermarks really quick. Um, if I want to get picky and you know place the watermarks where I want it, you know I do that manually. But um, this is what I use to. Uh, put the watermarks on. Next up, I have uh, I have Gwen view. After we do our uh, all of our images and process up from Aftershock Pro to GIMP, um, I, I view it with Gwen view and I take a final look at it, see if it's technically good, technically um, clear or sharp. And then um, I batch upload them to Flickr. So this is the standard viewer for KDE, Gwen View, or, or rather Kubuntu, um, and um, I like it a lot. It has um, a plugin that you can install called the Kippy plugin, which has many, excuse me, which has many, which has a setting right here where you can upload them to all these photo services, which, you know, I basically only use Flickr. So if I can upload the Flickr right here, I start uploading it. I'll highlight a bunch of images, open it with Grand View, highlight them again, and upload them all to Flickr, just like that. Um, as far as the title and you know the metadata, I enter that later. You know, usually I link it to a video or the our website, but you know this takes takes a lot of the bulk work. Um, next, what I used to use right here is I used to use Caden Live, which is the video editor for Ubuntu, or Kubuntu actually. Um, 
there's many different types of video editors out there for Ubuntu Cinderella. Um, I actually believe Kaden Live is the best video editor for Linux right now. Um, you can disagree if you're familiar with Linux, but you know, I find Kaden Live to be very stable, uh, moderately user friendly. Um, the version I have right now crashes from time to time, but I hear it's gotten more stable. I've since used the Mac Mini and used Final Shot. Excuse me, um, Final Cut Pro as my main video editor. So I haven't touched on Kaden Live for a while. We've used that to edit our earlier videos, which was sufficient enough. Moving on, I use the terminal. So let me just minimize this right here. Let me just get an overview of the terminal. Here's the terminal. I, you know, customized it a bit. I have, you know, the cash cow giving me a little quote. Um, cow say is the applet I use and um, and he is using fortune for all the uh, text right here. It says small things make, make base men proud. William Shakespeare. That's a quote. Now if I reopen it, it'll have a new quote every time. Never look up when dragons fly overhead. Open a new one you may recognize soon. Hi. Anyways, I use, I use the console for various things. Sometimes I use it to copy and paste things, um, navigate through the file system, and I also use it for for my word processing, for my text editing. Um, a lot of people say, well, "Why don't you use Word or why don't you excuse me? Why don't you use Open Office or LibreOffice?" I like the console. I like it. It's very minimalistic. And let me just give you an example right now. Let me jump to the documents right here, and I'm going to vim test.txt. So I'm creating a new text file right here called test.txt, and I'm just going to type uh, something random. This is a test on a emergency broadcast system. Okay, so I'm typing something real quick right here, and we just exit. So. You know, that's a quick little overview about console and Vim. I use Vim for my text editing, like I said, and I, I find that it's very minimalistic. It's, there's no distraction. And I can just type and type. You know, I, most of our, our writing is done, most of my writing from TechShip is done on the console. I've since, when I'm on the go, I, you know, type on my Blackberry and just add it, add it to the, the file later. And then quite recently, I've started to use Evernote to sync them all together. Um, uh, quite frankly, I, I miss using the, the console, and I'm gonna start doing that from now on. Um, just getting back into it, but um, yeah, I find these new programs, these new apps like Evernote or um, Open Office, they tend to have um, a lot of clutter, which tends tends to distract me personally. Uh, when I'm in the zone of typing, I just want to get it all down text and um, edit that later and I find that editing on a fly kind of interferes with that because you always type in a sentence or two or a paragraph and then you go back and edit it which um, kind of kills the moment but um yeah moving on that's the console I use that for for bit torrents <laughs> I use I use ktorrent um, I used to use transmission back when I was using GNOME but ktorrent KTorrents works for me. Um, it's pretty simple. It's uh, minimalistic, and you just download all your torrents from here. Um, and um, that's pretty much it for this video. These are the apps that I use on my Linux desktop. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I do play some games. I play um, Heroes of New Earth on on uh, my my KDE machine. It's just um, it's kind of like um, Dota. For um, League of Legends, but you know, Linux flavor. And when I was on, when I used my Mac, I played around with League of Legends. So you know, that's, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think. W what programs do you guys use on your Linux machine? And please like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks.